So the two handicaps will I kindly notice I will have in the course of my assistance to this honorable court. First 50,000, how many seats in the government medical colleges? 56,000. And Lord, everybody clamor for these first 56,000. Even the people below 56,000 may be willing uh, to go for a re-examination. And how many in the private medical colleges? 52,000. 56 and 52. That is 1 lakh 8,000. Now, Lord, if re-exam happens, literally it is, if all of them do not want re-examination, the total number is 1 lakh 8,000 people not 23 lakh people. The remaining 22 lakh people have not, I, have not got admission at all. Have not got admission. So except they, they fact, are willing. Except for the fact, except for the fact that if some people have wrongly got into the 1 lakh 8,000 category, right. That's right. then somebody below, somebody below the 1 lakh 8,000 can legitimately get into that 1 lakh 8,000. Right. So, but in fact, the balance is this 1 lakh, if all of them 1 lakh don't want re-examination, this 1 lakh on one side and 22 lakh on the other side who would like to take a chance in view of the uh, this examination is marred by controversy. All 22 lakh would like to have a second chance. That argument, yes, you know, Mr. Argument, Huda, there is a problem. Forget the question of leak in this matter. Merely because, say, when out of 22 lakh, 1 lakh 8 only have got admission Correct. or would get admission. And therefore, you are left with, say, 21, uh, about 20 lakhs, 22 lakhs, 22 lakhs students who would want to take a chance. We cannot order a re-examination merely because they yeah, want right. to take That's a chance. That's right. But look, I just wanted examination. I just wanted examination has to be on a concrete footing that the sanctity of the entire examination has been. I, I bow down. I just wanted to dispel an impression that the stake in the re-examination is of lakhs of people. No. The stake is of 1 lakh 8,000 people. I will have to set up, uh, demonstrate conclusively that we cannot segregate tainted from the untainted. In Tanvi Sabra, Sabarwal right. case and the judgment authored by Malo clearly says in Tanvi Sarwal's case, the finding was we have identified 44 candidates out of 6 lakhs. The remaining we are not able to identify. So we cannot permit even 10 so, people. Mr. Huda, I think, you know, you need not labor that point Very because you're absolutely right on that. I'm so great. That if you can, as a conceptually, yes. that if you can establish that it is not possible to segregate the tainted from the untainted, Correct. then the whole examination yes. has to go. Because yes. those basic, you can, of course, show those authorities briefly to us yes, at, a, at a certain point. Please. But uh, when we have looked at the facts, but before we go into the authorities, we want to, you to address the core of the facts before us. Yes. I will try to first summarize my case and then elaborate. All right. So that Mulot has an idea what I am saying. You can summarize now. My brother Justice Pardiwala would like to know out of 1 lakh 8,000, totally how many petitioners are before the court? Mulot, it is NTA can say. Mulot. NTA, you, uh, 38 petitions. Yes. Now, you are for NTA, no? So, 38 petitions includes the six transfer petitions or uh, transfer petitions? petitions before this honorable court in, would include the six transfer petitions right. filed by the NTA. No? So, but 32 not, petitioners. 32 because, petitions. No, no, no. Our question is little. How many? Uh, uh, I represent 10. I'm from how many are asked? Supported by 43. But, uh, or from uh, I do not know how many, at least 100, uh, the candidate one called, called us individually, but who have not put I think they have a figure. 108. Mr. Kaushik, if you can just ask somebody, uh, any of your uh, team from the NTA, to just do this uh, physical exercise of telling us even at lunch yes. or after lunch. Uh, how many total students are involved in the matters before the not involved, but how many students have moved the court in this batch of cases? I have not seen that most respect, my lords. That may approximately, 108 are seeking reconduct of the examination. The council. 
108 who are seeking re-exam yes. are amongst 1,8,000. No, no. Yes. Yes. No, 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 they'll be outside 1,8,000. No. We are outside 1,8,000. Oh, it can't be. Yeah. Be. Yeah. be. Because 1,8,000 would have, Sir, would get, no, they have such a They cannot seek re-examination at all. I represent. So all those who have not been able to yes, clear. Yes. 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 Some, Some people go. within 1,8,000 are no, also yes. before your lordships Out because of, they say. They will not get into government medical. They, do, they will not get into government They will get into it. Why that in my picture, seeking re-examination. In my picture, 700. In my lab picture, my lab, there are five candidates. One of them. Now in charge, unless we ask a question to some other council, the others may not interrupt because otherwise, you know, our line of thinking is also affected. And he is deflected also. He has his thought process in some matter. Yes. Out of total. But they are, but they are not in mission. Also, uh, Brother Mishra had a point. What is the minimum mark which has been received by? The petitioners before the court. We just want you need not give us an offhand answer. Just do it at lunch and tell us. Malad, can I one thing, my lad? In my petitioner, in my petition, my lad. One is having malad seven hundred. Another is having six. How will we be able to just wait for a minute? Let's have the let's have the conceptual basis of the matter. We can't go in individual facts like this. Let's mm -hmm. let's have the concept very clear before us, and then we can see yes, where the balance lies. Yes, yes Mr. Oli, we'll hear you. We're not going to run away. We are here to hear you and do justice to the matter. Uh, Not only qualifying marks are 164. Then this exercise, there are 131 students who are not calling within one like eight thousand, and they are the inquiry test. 131 students. 130. And petitioners. petitioners, and there are 254 uh, who are calling within one like eight thousand. They are opposing them. Not, not that that statistics can assist your lordship either way, but factually this is the position. So one lakh uh, one thirty one students beyond one lakh eight thousand yes. who want a retest, and two fifty four, they are in the form of IAs or implement who are opposing for op opposing the retest. Oh, no, the they are all within one lakh eight thousand. The figures may not always be right, my lords, because I represent somebody who falls within. Yes, that's true. And who says whose rank is about 2009? But sorry, my lords, we will we'll work out the figures in common with with Mr. Now Kordon. tell us also what is the cutoff rank for the 56,000 yes. and for the 1,8,000? No, may, may just one, one clarification conceptually anybody who is above the 50, 50th percentile qualifies in the sense that if somebody above them. Also, uh, does not uh, go into medicine, goes into IIT, for instance. Sorry. There will be a figure. Sorry. So, passing is 164. Passing is 164, but admission is a dynamic process. May stop at 1 lakh, may stop at 1 lakh 50,000. And depending on, on the particular quota or reservation or whatever is available. 164 is the cutoff mark. 164 means that you are above the 50th percentile. So about half, half the people have a qualification to be allotted a seat. But not everybody will be allotted a seat. So it's a dynamic process. There is one like 8,000 seats available. Some of them may not opt for medicine. Some may go into IIT, this, that, and the other. The, the figure will come down. And also depending on whether you have a reserve category or something. So it is not, so it is dynamic, but roughly say, I think the uh, last figures will stop at two, two and a half likes, uh, rank wise. That's all right. There, let's hear, hear Mr. Huda now. Yes, Mr. Huda. So, my Lord, I'm starting. You can summarize your case, you say. Yes, yes, sir. I'll, I'll just summarize. But Give me a space, please. I'm starting with a handicap. I do not have the result. 
because of that, I cannot have the data analytics, which the state has placed, uh, NTA has placed on record, giving the bell curve. And Lord, one of the director of IIT Madras is a member of the governing body of NTA. They have run the data analytics process, taking the entire number of 23,33,000 candidates who sat in the examination. If data analytics is to be run to 23,33,000 people, at what stage? 10,000 or 20,000 people have sneaked into it. This data analytics running into half a page, which every dot means thousands of people. You cannot detect any abnormality when you draw a bell curve, which is based on 23,33,000. The correct procedure if at all they were doing it, well, the correct procedure was to apply this process to 1,8,000 people. The first 1,000,000 people in 2021, 22, 23, and 24, probably the curve would have been able to catch 1,000, 2,000 people going up and down. Now, even 1% is up, is into thousands of candidates. This Honorable Court has not tolerated even if it comes to a conclusion that 1,000 people have entered into the system of this one leg, which we are not able to detect. This examination cannot be sustained. Well, that's one aspect about what IIT Madras has done. Yes. Now, what about, how do you develop, now you can develop the basic case I, that you have. I'm, demonstrating that IIT Madras can't be relied upon. Because the, they have taken the entire body of 21.33 lakhs. That's right. And according to you, that data analytics should have been done on the restricted figure of 1,8,000 like and compare that with 2021, 22, and 23. So great. And the governing body member is the uh, of NTA is the director of uh, IIT Madras. There is a conflict of interest. Lord. No, but therefore, you take it, I mean, what is at the highest, what does that lead to? Your argument is that the data analytics has been done by NTA itself. Correct. That's right. It can't be higher than that. And apply. That's, That's because, the, that, because the director of IIT Madras is also on the governing body of NTA. That's right. That's he was, actually, he's not. He's not, they he's say. He's present but, in court, in my right. request. He says he's not on the board of directors of NTA. Oh, I see. He was an outsider who's uh, without expertise. But anybody with. from IIT Madras who is on the governing body of NTA? He was. Somebody else was. Was means in the past. In past. Today, IIT Madras has no uh, nobody from IIT Madras so in India. When was that past word when he exited? But the person or the director who has prepared this report. Mr. Uh, solicitor, just sit for a second and ask them what the position is so that uh, you can have a seat. Where you a member of uh, NTA? Yeah, this is not the way it is done. Please don't do this. I've not attended any board, nor do I have a member. He's not a member. Any other person who is a member? Ramnath Sanant was a member. He was a previous director. When? I said now, Mr. King, it's a 